We present Digital Gimbal, end-to-end -end deep image stabilization with learnable exposure times. In recent years, optical systems have become lighter and more portable than ever, making camera-mounted vehicles available to the masses. However, images captured this way may suffer from motion blur, which is especially evident during long exposures or with long focal lengths. Image stabilization, the task of mitigating this phenomenon, has been mostly explored in the optical and mechanical domains. In the optical regime, stabilization emerges from using high-cost, uniquely tailored lenses, or cheaper but less effective shift sensors. On the other end, mechanical stabilization devices, such as actuated gimbals, can be attached to any camera with no need for complicated optical equipment. Though such systems are highly popular, their cost, form factor, weight and power requirements might be prohibitive in many scenarios. Let us review digital image stabilization approaches by closely examining the shutter schedule of a moving and stabilized camera. We denote our thumb budget as capital T and assume some short time interval is needed to read each frame. A fully exposed image suffers from considerable motion blur, which is hard to mitigate using image deblurring methods. Alternatively, if we have a fast enough camera, we can employ the same budget to capture a fixed, short exposure burst. While the burst frames are sharper than the fully exposed image, this short exposure results in evident noise. To elevate this degradation, we can merge the frames via a burst denoising algorithm. However, this procedure results in oversmoothing, as demonstrated here by the faded edges of the window. Instead, we propose to intervene in the acquisition pipeline by learning an optimal non-uniform exposure regime. Employing it forces diversity in noise and blur levels, producing complementary realizations of the same scene. Thus, we reduce the problem to joint burst denoising and deblurring, as the two are already well established. Our approach utilizes the sharpness of short exposed frames and the ISNR of long exposed ones to yield a superior reconstruction. To achieve this, we design an end-to-end -end deep learning system. We employ a reconstruction network comprising a flow network which aligns the burst and the kernel prediction network merging the aligned frames by applying specially variant kernels. At runtime, we generate a burst from a video representing the scene's irradiance values. We implement this using a novel network layer named the sensor forward model which numerically models the frame acquisition process and encapsulates user-controlled camera parameters. Training this pipeline in an end-to-end -end manner enables the reconstruction network to tailor its weights according to each frame chosen exposure and corresponding degradation level. At test time, we configure the camera with the forward model's optimal exposures and feed the capture burst to the reconstruction network. We compare our method to state-of-the-art deep learning models in single image deep learning and burst denoising. Our model outperforms traditional approaches both qualitatively and quantitatively on synthetic data, obtaining an improvement of almost 3 dB over the second best method. We further evaluate our method on real data. We set a camera on a tripod and attach the motor underneath it to create vibrations while capturing the scene marked here in red. As we can see, our model produces perceptually pleasing output, significantly outperforming other approaches. Visit our project site to access our CVPR21 paper, code and data. Thank you for watching.